I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be doing some glass hacks with Dollar Tree products. So for this first one, I'm using this color Khaki by Apple Barrel uh, paint color and I'm going to be using this mug that I picked up at Dollar Tree recently. I don't know if they have these out all year long, but I feel like they have more of them out around Christmas time. Yes, my cat did make an appearance. I always have them helping. I'm also using this cake decorating kit along with some caulk. This styrofoam ball did come from Hobby Lobby, but they do have these at Dollar Tree. So if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, but I just find them that you get more and it's just a little bit cheaper. And for all of these, I did make, I think three different ones in this video. Uh, I just cut out or I traced out the rim of the mugs. And then I just used some cardboard because we're we're gonna make some toppers for these. So I'm not gluing them down or anything. It is just strictly a topper. And this is all you get in a caulk tube is pretty much half. So you will want to pick up quite a few of these. I think I went through six or seven caulk tubes for all the projects that I did. And I did glue that styrofoam ball to the center of the cardboard because this just makes it a lot easier. It kind of makes the caulk go towards the top so it actually looks like whipped cream but then it also saves on a lot of caulk because you'd probably be using like I would say like four or five tubes of this. So this is what it looks like when I just had like a tiny bit left for this one and then now I am going in with this tulip puffy fabric paint just to make a fun little chocolate drizzle over the top. Now I know I did not create this but I think these are just so fun to make. I made one last year and I feel like I failed miserably at it. It just did not stay. It just did not look good. Um, because I use like real sprinkles and you cannot add real sprinkles to caulk. Those are faux sprinkles and I'll link them in the description box. They're from Amazon to embellish them more. So I'm adding these little gingerbreads. These are from that pack I showed you. They have a ton of fun ones from Hobby Lobby. And I think I picked them up for like two, between like two and four dollars, but I know I can make a ton of projects with them. I wanted a candy cane straw, so I made it out of a napkin and just a paper straw. And then now that is done, I am just adding this little decal to the front of the mug. It says gingerbread latte, hence why I added some gingerbreads to the top. And also they are just so cute. And I am just really obsessed with using all of these like fake sprinkles and puffy paints and all the things. I also picked up this little ornament from Hobby Lobby. It was only a dollar. It was regular priced at $1.99 and then it was 50% off. And I grabbed a couple of those for I'd say this specific video. I think I just bought them because they were cute. And then once this is all dry, I did wait over 24 hours for them to dry because they were so thick uh, that I think I would have just like poked my finger through the cock if I didn't give it that much time. But this one is all done. I think this one is my favorite thus far. So there you go. On to the next one. This hot cocoa is, uh, mug is from Dollar Tree, obviously. I think everything, honestly, is from Dollar Tree, 100%, except some of the embellishments. Obviously, they don't have like that many good items at Dollar Tree for that. I'm using this puff paint, which is from Dollar Tree. I did pick up a ton of like red and a couple extra whites. I'm using some faux marshmallows, and I am just adding some puffy paint to the top. I've been told a million times you can add colored glue sticks. It dries faster. So if you want them to dry quicker, grab some colored glue sticks. I just prefer this. I think this is just fun and I don't mind waiting a day or so. I just try to do all my projects at once and then after 24 hours, they're all dry and good to go. Uh, these fake marshmallows are from Hobby Lobby as well. I picked them up quite a while ago. I want to say during the summertime and they were on clearance for $2.99. So I have a huge huge package of marshmallows. You could use air dry clay, whatever you choose. But honestly, this is just everything's already made and good to go. So that's what I'm going to go with. All right. So now on to the mug. I wanted to glue one of these little spoons to this one as well. And then I just embellish it with a paper straw along with a little ornament. Looks like a little gingerbread ornament, snowflake, and that is from Walmart. But I think this one turned out really cute. The Puffy paint started dripping a little bit on the marshmallows, but I mean, nothing's really perfect when it comes to hot chocolate. You can't ever make it perfect. And if it is, it just starts melting anyways. Also some fake sprinkles. Those are also from Amazon and I will link everything to the best of my ability. Using a snowman mug from 
Dollar Tree. I promise this is not all mugs. So please bear with me. These are just some of my favorites. So I'm using some caulk once again and glitter glue that I found on clearance at Walmart. And I just started squirting this all around because I didn't want this to be like, I didn't want it to be like the other ones because it is a snowman one. So I wanted it to, to kind of match up with the snowman theme. So I'm using this little tiny hat and these little gingerbreads. The hat is from Walmart. The gingerbreads are from Hobby Lobby. And I just added that to the center. I didn't really know what to add onto the hat, but I thought it needed something. And now I'm just adding it on to the side. I add this little topper onto the top of the snowman. It kind of looks like he is wearing the hat. I don't want anything too huge. I also used a little paper straw for this and just cut it down. And this is what this one looks like. I kind of kept this one simple, but I think this one turned out so cute. You're starting out with is something else just to uh, kind of get rid of those little faux toppers, but they're so cute to make. They're so fun. And once you get started, you're going to want to make like a hundred of them, I swear. Uh, I just grabbed a vinyl decal off of the Cricut Design Space. I did not make it. I just typed in Santa cookies and kind of browsed the site. And I grabbed this red plate that is available at the good old Dollar Tree. And I'm just setting this in the center. It says treats for Santa, cookies, reindeer, milk. I think this is more of a decoration, but I mean, if you want to throw some top on here, I used permanent vinyl. So I think that it will be good to go. I didn't seal anything. Permanent vinyl goes a long way. Uh, at least I've never really had issues with permanent vinyl. So let me know in the comments, like if you've ever had permanent vinyl actually not be permanent, maybe in the weather, I'm not sure, like bad weather, snow weather, cold weather, hot weather, I don't know. Um, but I just add this to an easel and I think this is just really cute. I love the way that this turned out and it only took a few minutes to put together. So I also found a black plate from Dollar Tree. So I love grabbing ornaments from Dollar General because they're only a dollar and they're way, they're just so cute. And I would much rather just save my 25 cents, especially when I buy like 10 ornaments. I love ornaments and I have a love hate relationship with ornaments because I love them. I buy a bunch. And I'm like, why did I buy this many? What do I do with these? Um, and it's usually for crafting purposes as to why I buy them. So this deer one was really cute from Dollar General. And now I'm just putting it in the center of the plate. This box of greenery and florals actually came from a Michael's mystery box or what I think that's what they're called. Uh, I had grabbed a couple last year and I did an unboxing and I had like four boxes of this in here and I was like, what am I going to do with this until I realized what was actually in it? I was like, okay, this is going to be really good for crafting. And I was like super excited about it. It came with like everything that you would need to put together some sort of craft. I think it's like for tablescapes or something like that. But honestly, like it's going to work for crafts. So I'm just adding some greenery and florals around the edges of this plate. And that is it. I kind of made this one really simple. It's very elegant looking. It's pretty. It's definitely not. Uh, I feel like it doesn't fit in with this video because everything else is very colorful. But I think this one is very, very pretty. This next one, we're going back to mugs. I loved this one. I tried to spray paint it, but it is so cold outside. I really didn't think it would work, but I tried and it didn't. So I had to go back in and paint it with my Waverly chalk paint in white. And I did give this one two good coats. Uh, whether it really needed that many or not, I'm not sure, but I did it anyways. Once the paint was dry, I just grabbed my brown fabric puffy paint to go around the edges. And then I just kind of, once this is done, I just take it and kind of tap the bottom of everything just to kind of make that drizzle just a little more realistic. Uh, I did have like a bad little episode with it where it just like chunked out and like fell in the middle of the cup. So I did have to like wipe it away and repaint it. You might see in a second here that I don't know how, like why, but it did. So I ended up having to wipe that away. I could have probably just left it, but I don't know. I just didn't like the way that looked, but it's easy enough when it's wet to just remove it and repaint over the top. No biggie. 
This decal is also from the Cricut Design Space, Mrs. Claus Bakery in Candy Shop. I think this one is really cute. I plan on doing some tier trays or even a shelf of just like fun like baking goods that I plan to like put in my kitchen for Christmas. So I think all these will work perfect whether they are together or I am just adding them around other like Christmas items or Christmas decor. I have quite a few gingerbread items that I made recently. I'm making some more as well. And then I did some last year. So you guys want to see like those fun videos. I'll link them in the description box below for you guys. Gingerbread videos are just my favorite. And I think that this like cock faux food thing like may or may not be my thing this year. I kind of thought it was cheesy last year. I'm not going to lie. And when I seen people do them, I was like kind of cringing. And even when I made one, I'm like, ugh. And now I'm like, okay, I can see why they made them because they are just so fun. I made this one simple. I just added some faux sprinkles to the top of this. And then I honestly had to grab every little sprinkle that I would drop because they're like $7 for a tiny bag of sprinkles. But I mean, honestly, a little bit goes a long way. Um, this was still soft. I don't think caulk really gets hard anyways, but um, it was a little soft. So I decided to add a little gingerbread to the top of this. I know gingerbread. It just, I had to. <laughs> and they are just like little stickers from Hobby Lobby. Love these jars with the lids on them from Dollar Tree. I have quite a few of these and they're really great for organizing your pantries or your food items, rice, whatever you choose to do with them. I like using them around the holidays for like candy and hot chocolate items and stuff like that. Um, I decided to paint this one red and I did it on the outside. Sometimes I feel like painting on the inside would probably be better. It'd probably last a little bit longer unless you wanted to seal it. Um, I don't really plan on putting anything in here. It's going to be strictly for decor, but I just painted this uh, red and then I went on with the top and I ended up painting that white just because the silver just kind of wasn't working out. And then I just added a gingerbread to the middle. This is from Hobby Lobby and I think it was two bucks, a dollar fifty or two dollars for it. And I just kind of glued it to the center and the lid still does come off just fine. I think this one is really cute. Kind of plan on taking the lid off and adding some fun stuff into it, uh, but you'll have to see that in another video. This is a larger one. I grabbed another decal from the Cricut Design Space. I love using my Cricut and honestly, I feel like that I will be using it a lot more this Christmas. Uh, so I just make it kind of easy. I just size everything out. I kind of just grab my little ruler, measure out the jar and kind of I always kind of estimate or like guess what size I'm going to be using. So I'm not a professional Cricut user. I just kind of do what makes my life easy. Uh, so that's really all I do. Grab a ruler and then and now I am just scraping this on. I kind of had a, a little trouble getting this off, uh, but I think this one is cute. I didn't really do a ton to this. I kind of left this jar empty. I'll probably end up putting candy or hot chocolate or something in here uh, come Christmas, but I think this one is just super cute. To make this more of a gingerbread theme, I did go ahead and paint the lid of this one as well. And with the apple barrel paint, it does take like three coats, but I just take my hair dryer in between and blow dry or hair. I wouldn't say blow. Yeah, I guess dry. And I just dry it and just keep adding different layers and it took only a few minutes to do. So it wasn't really a big deal to have to do a few coats on this. that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed these fun ideas you can do with glass items from the Dollar Tree. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.